government is duty bound to take action and this is something unacceptable at any point of time someone making such statements and i would not like to use the words that are expressed by kalar prabhakar but it it's he spews venom he spews venom against the communities and more particularly muslims and they has been doing it for quite some time that he could get away with this kind of crimes in earlier instances despite good number of cases registered against him because of the previous government and the present government which is duty bound which has made statement and people have chosen them that they will maintain law and order seems to be hand in glove with this person and allowing him to carry on with the kind of venom which he can spew out there i think that's something which is unacceptable at any point of time and the people are extremely angry and the way government has said in fact yesterday the prosecutor's office in the uh, high court has said that the government had no intentions of arresting him demonstrates the way the government is handling this matter with kid gloves despite the fact the kind of uh, violence that's being made in the kind of statements and what would have impact on the common folk and in fact it is made a statement of that nature that women uh, or women of less virtue is the kind of statement that is making speaks volumes and this is not something which is so called culture of india and if somebody is allowed to make such statement i think the law and order is not certainly functioning this government immediately need to take action and if it does not i think it will have consequences is too that there are statements which have been being asked to us saying that uh, you see the poll is an issue therefore they don't want to antagonize i think this is law and order issue and it's a duty of the government we have elected this government to take immediate action it's not we are not elected this government to say that poll problems on that they are looking at the poll and therefore results may vary because of this kind of action i think that's something unacceptable immediately need to be arrested and put behind bars there is a need action need to be initiated against him and that is the duty of the government and it's the right of every person to demand that essential you need to maintain proper law and order i think that's not being maintained also so uh, hate speech has been rising in india lately and we see that the ac- appropriate actions are not taken regarding the hate speeches so what would be your message in general for hate speeches that are made by politicians or people at power irrespective of anyone whom she ever he is or she is if they make statement which is a hate speech within the time that's the one which is made by mr kalar ka prabhakar but they need to be action to be initiated against them hate speech cannot go hate speech is not free speech you know there's a hell, great amount of difference between hate speech and free speech i give an opinion which may not be acceptable to the authorities it's fine but whatever i speak i need to speak within the framework of the constitution my freedom to express should not be to such a degree that i demean the very existence of other people in this country that's not acceptable and we have law which is very clear on this particular aspect and the government does not take action it speaks volumes that this government is in action demonstrates that it is not doing its job of maintaining law and order so can we have your name and address i am bitty venkatesh an advocate so what kind of thought process do you think leads to people making such statements i get you what kind of thought process do you think leads to people making such statements <laughs> and they have very clear agenda I, i don't think this question we should be asked first place that they have very clear agenda to make people feel so bad about the other community that's something which is the whole purpose so as to consolidate hindu votes as against uh, others and that seems to be the only focus and this has been going on for quite some time it's not something new and when that precisely the reason why that the people have in this state elected congress government it will maintain that law and order if the government is not doing it i think very serious questions are being asked who are you how different are you from the other are you supportive of the same kind of characters out here and if that's the purpose for which we have been electing you why should people vote for you and that's some serious question people are asking now